This morning we're going on the road as we get ready to kick off Labor Day weekend. It's going to be a pretty musical weekend thanks to the Rhythm and Roots Festival making its way back to Nigrit Park in Charlestown. Michaela wanted to check it out, but before we check in with her, let's take a look at her adventure getting there. That was a quick pickup, Sandra. I was able to track you on my phone. Great. I love Uber. I do too. Ladies Uber, right? Yeah. Ladies Day in Uber. I like to sing. Is that okay? That's great. I love singing in the car. We're taking an Uber on the road. Don't know where we're gonna go. Hit it, Sandra. We're taking an Uber down the road. We don't know where we're gonna go. Yeah. Take it right up here. You know, you can ride an Uber for free up to 20 bucks using the promo code The Road Show. Come along with us on the road. Awesome. <laughs> the girl sure does love to sing. I could not do that, but it's a good thing that she's hitting a music festival. So let's check in with Michaela right now. Good morning, Michaela. Hey, good morning. Only fitting that I was singing on my ride down here to Charlestown. Ninigrit Park is the place, and I'll tell you what, it's already been a busy morning. So here to tell us more about the 19th annual Rhythm and Roots Festival is Chuck Wentworth. He's the festival producer. Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. Great. A beautiful day out here. We've already got, uh, oh, I think, about 100 campers in. We've got about 400 more vehicles to go. Mm -hmm. But this is what we call the rodeo. Yeah, and, and you guys do such a great job. You said a big part of it, like many of our lives, is so dependent on the timing of things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we said, you know, we'd open the gates at 9, and they opened exactly at 9. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, it's we're going to do that all weekend with the performances we have. Everybody's going to be on time, and we try to run a tight ship here. You certainly do. We're seeing a lot of excitement. Like I said, a lot of movement happening behind us. Take a look. All these RVs, campers coming in. You see plenty of tents over there as well. They're trying to get as many folks in to experience this festival. What can we look forward to over the next few days? Well, beyond the camping, we've got four stages of music. We have about 15 food vendors, great stuff from the Matunic Oyster Bar with their lobster rolls, the Chili Brothers with Cajun and Creole food, Thai, Greek, pizza, uh, Sunset Farms is here, we've got barbecue. So we try to keep the level of food about the same as we do with the music. And it's, it's all great stuff. Keeping everyone fueled and happy too. They can sing along throughout the night. Now the fun starts off at 4 p.m. But it's not just fun. You guys are doing some great work raising money for some wonderful charities. Yeah, we've had a sponsor for years, VSA Arts, based in Pawtucket. And that's, that's our main sponsor. Uh, they're great folks. They work with people who are mentally and physically challenged and try to mainstream them into the arts whether it be music, painting, or whatever. And then we're working with RICAN, which is a local food pantry, and we've got the King Arthur flower truck coming down here, and what they do is they sell cookies for a dollar a piece, and whatever they sell, they then match, and they'll donate that money to our food pantry. Wow. And then the other thing we're doing is we've got a fundraiser going this weekend for Louisiana musicians who've been affected by the, low, by the floods down in Louisiana. Uh, this, in a lot of instances, it's, it's worse than Katrina because it didn't qualify for a lot of federal funding and it hit out in the area where all the musicians live. Right, so you're going to help them immensely and we know too, Louisiana, big, big area for music. Oh yeah. This is going to be a big area for music too. The fun is about to start and when we come back, when you check back in with us again, it's not just music, it's dancing too. Time now to go back out on the road as we do every Friday, and we may have some bad weather ahead of our, uh, you know, ahead this weekend, but today it's going to be a perfect day to enjoy some outdoor music and dance. Speaking of dance, Michaela is over at Nintegrit Park in Charlestown right now getting a little dance lesson ahead of this weekend's Rhythm and Roots Festival. Hey, Michaela. Hey, Will, you know I like to boogie, right? Anytime I hear music, I am always breaking it down, trying to do whatever I can just to dance and have fun. That's exactly what you can do when you come to the Rhythm and Roots right. Festival. Michelle Kaminsky joins us now for, for a little dance lesson. We just want to emphasize, too, that this is something that anyone, any age, any kind of dance level can take part in, right? Absolutely. So what the bands wish is they just want you to come out and dance. They don't care if you're doing it right or wrong or the way I'm going to show you right now. Just get out and boogie because then they have more time. They have a better time. You have better time. You become part of the band and that's what it's about. Yeah. If you did 
happen to come down to the one dance lesson during the day, it's at one o'clock, there'll be 500 people here. You don't have to worry about anybody paying attention to you. You just come and you boogie and then you realize, oh my God, I can do this. Yeah, you can do some steps. Okay, will you teach us a little something? I will, I will. So the first thing I'm gonna do, show you something to do with your feet, something to do with your hands, and then I'm gonna say, forget whatever I told you and do whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the band. They're gonna uh, play for us a little bit and I'm gonna show you what to do. All right, guys, hit it. Let's get the music started. So we're gonna kind of go one, two, three. So let the band, always let the band get going. One, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I'm gonna lead you. Okay. And we're, we're gonna go backwards. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's it. I think I got it. Yeah. And then if you want to do a... Whee! <laughs> and then I turn back? Yeah. And then you can come. Now I'm gonna spin her now. And just a couple steps is all it really takes, That's right? That's right. And you could do it without a partner. Just like this, step back a little bit. Yeah? You got the idea? So then if you want to do kind of a jitterbug thing, and then kind of go in and out. Okay. Yeah. We got our jitterbug on. you get more advanced yeah. and you could take on something a little more yeah. will you will you show us come on over sure we'll show you a little bit so this is once you've like can't bear it anymore doing simple stuff this is some fancy stuff okay let's see the fancy stuff grab a partner and shuffle on over so fun again like Michelle said you can take a lesson here at the Rhythm and Roots Festival both days, Saturday, Sunday at 1 o'clock. But don't forget the, the fun starts off tonight at 4. So if you want to come check it out, there's plenty to do. There'll be plenty of dancing and plenty of music as well. I think she's got it down. That's beautiful. Now, what other styles of dance will you be teaching, Michelle? So I'm going to teach a Cajun dance workshop, basic two-step, which I showed you, and a little bit of waltz. And then over there is Jim Christensen, and he's going to teach the Zydeco dance workshop on Saturday at 1. Now, what is Zydeco? Zydeco? Zydeco has a little bit different feeling. This band's not playing Zydeco. And you dance it from the center. Jim, you want to uh, demonstrate a little Zydeco with me? I think I like dancing from the center. I like getting my hips involved, right? But you also said you can follow along or do your own thing. They'll follow along and I'll do my own thing. Come on out, do your own thing. Here at the Rhythm and Roots Festival when we come back, we're gonna hear more from that band. Tell you about how the family traditions have stuck around for many, many years. All right, guys, it has been such a fun morning here at the 19th Annual Rhythm and Roots Festival. we got kids running around. We've got bands playing. We've got people dancing. Chuck is back with us one more time. This really is a family-friendly event and a tradition for many. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, we've got the playground here, the swimming hole with lifeguards. And I've seen people that I've known for years. I've, this is my 36th year of doing this. And I remember people coming from the beginning. Now their kids and grandkids are coming. <laughs> So, yeah, this, this is going on for quite a while. Great tradition to pass down, like you said, whether you're having family reunions or weddings even. We've got people already scheduled a wedding for next year. It's <laughs> well, in the books. It really is such a fun place. You don't have to come for the entire weekend, even if you can just come out for a day or a few hours. Come out for a day, right. You, you can do anything you want. You know, one day, you come out camping. Mm -hmm. We don't charge for the kids. 12 and under free. Great. Teens, 13 and 19, a half price. So we do really want to encourage the mm -hmm. whole family family to be here. And some big names coming. I know we had Sarah Potenza on our show yesterday. Right. Any other big headliners that you want to mention? Yeah, Sunday, Bruce Hornsby and the Noisemakers, Dave and Phil Alvin, David Grisman on Saturday, Taj Mahal, Lucinda Williams. Uh, we've got some great blues tonight with Duke Robillard, Room Full of Blues, the Knickerbocker All-Stars. I can't forget the Revelers who are coming in as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got a lot who, of great And that's music. who was playing during our dance lesson? 
Well, basically, that's Magnolia, and I, they found this guy on the side of the road and put him, put him in the band. Well, awesome. I think we should hear more of them play. We, we're going to in, in just a sec, but again, fun starts off uh, at 4 today, and then when does it start the other days? Saturday and Sunday, we open the gates at noon. Mm -hmm. The music starts at 1. Um, one thing I would like to, to say, we are doing that fundraiser for Louisiana musicians, right. and our local beer distributor, McLaughlin and Moran, have pledged to match up to $10,000 in donations so we're encouraging people they can donate here mm -hmm. at the site during the event or they can donate uh, online on our website <laughs> your granddaughter is joining oh, us yeah. now see we She's told ready. you it's a very family friendly event say you want to say hi say hi no? Meh, okay. meh, maybe not i think we should leave it over to the band one more time guys take it away <laughs> Charlestown. Make sure you come on out. Check it out with the whole family.